Hello. Welcome to Robin's Brown Readings. I'm clearing away any negative energies that might be associated in this space. I just did a live reading, so I'm just making sure that the energies are clear as above, so below everything on Holy Host Carol. All right. Thank you for coming into my channel. May you be blessed. I'm going to take a look at the energies for, um, it's March 10th, which, what is it, Thursday? Hold on, my phone. Oh, I see what's going on here. Okay. Sorry about that. Yeah, that would be Thursday, March 10th. All right, here we go. So I call in divine energies, my guides, your guides, the Holy Spirit to help us to read. I, I call on my Michael the Archangel to help me to tap into protect all psychic energy, thoughts, and processes while I try to tap into this collective conscious and the collective heart space to bring forth the messages for Thursday, March 10th. And I ask that you anoint it and pray so that I can bring a message for the highest and best good for all involved. Notice that, um, you guys, that it may or may not relate to your situation, but there are definitely going to be some energies that will show up as a collective vibe. Some, but something might tap in for you. But if not, if it doesn't apply, let it fly, I say, okay? Thank you for coming to my channel and being here. Let's clear the energy. Okay. Taking deep breaths, taking our time, letting things fall into place. What is the angel, archangel energy for happy birthday, Pisces? What is the archangel message for um, Thursday, March 10th for the collective in love? Yes. Okay, we're still doing this. This came out again. So there's still chakra clearing going on. There's still people clearing up their mental space over their situations. They're being assisted, though. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred ge geometric shapes. Well, okay, I know what that means then. That means I get my sacred geometry deck out. All right? Interesting. Hmm. I love that sunstone. It's such an unusual scent. I do like it a lot. Okay, give me a second. Let me see if I can find that for you. Yeah, because it's too dull. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to get a different card, too. I need to know. Hmm. I want to know what level on this journey we are, because what? That's crazy. One second, you guys. Hmm. That's just crazy, crazy good. I can feel it. I can tell. Oh, thank you. Spirit's pretty good. If you give him a chance to work with you. Get something inside. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look at the Sacred Activation Oracle and the Sacred Rebel, which is about attitude. Uh, they told me to pull it out, so I will. All right. Spirit. We have Archangel Metatron. Mm hmm Now, oh, what am I doing? Hmm. Archangel Metatron. So we have someone who's, their, their thoughts are being transferred into a higher form. They're thinking in a, they're understanding metaphysics a little more. Uh, everything isn't what they always said it was. And so now the understanding itself alone brings them forward into a lighter energy, a greater energy. So you need to ask for help for any dense, any dense in, uh, information still locked in your body. And ask the divines for that, ask Metatron to help you with that. It's really like, um, and even like with Raphael, Archangel Raphael, the healing angel, the truth is, is that Raphael will give you instructions. Like, 
you know, black pepper oil for your, you know, or um, oregano oil for certain things. Natural herbs, okay. Reception. See, receive, receive each other, receive the message, receive the energy. The frequency of, perc oh, perception. My bad. Vision. Okay, I go back. <clears throat> The frequency of perception supports your natural curiosity, moving you beyond your comfort zone to find the edges of what you perceive as real and to take a good, hard, deep look at it. Oh, yes. Looky there. That's really intriguing. Very intriguing energy. Good. Somebody's doing something and they're Checking it out. Give me another, please. They're having a realization. It's an awakening now. You need help with it, though, because you can't just do it by yourself sometimes. You really need help. I cried out every time I needed something or didn't understand. And sometimes, you know, those emotions and those weird things you go through in relationships may be very, very much due to, to your personal relationship with the divine. And unctions and things that are unsatisfied within you. And they come up in these relationships, I know from experience, by making mistakes. And I know now that the realizations are something has to end. So purification can occur. And healing can occur. And this is Divine Feminine Number. And the frequency of healing supports that intrinsic ability to restore your health and your wholeness. By consciously using the information that comes to you through your senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. Oh, I told you, Raphael, look at the green. How beautiful, you guys. Ooh. So we have amazing messages. I'm liking that. Thank you, Spirit. Okie dokie. Let's take a look at something before I go into the energies. I want to get these guys out because I know I'm going to need them. Just feel like it. I know I will. All right, guys, let's get up over here and look. So, energy surrounding the situation in love, March 10th, Thursday, 2022, for the collective in love, for all signs. It might apply, it might not apply, but I think it does to a lot of people. May you be blessed and encouraged in your journey to self. Yes, in every way possible. All right. Tell me the energies that surround this in love, please. Okay. Surrounding this energy is from for March 10th. Tell me what they need to hear. What do we need to see? What do we need to see for the day, please? What does everyone need to see, please? Bless them, bless them, bless them. Thank you so much for their presence. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Everyone who's here, please hit the like button so that other people can find these encouraging messages. You never know what bits and pieces in these messages are really like. Pop somebody right out of their, their either their discontent or their, you know, that they're sitting on a button to make a decision and they don't because they just need to hear this one thing. And, and, um, Sometimes that's what happens in readings. Really good ones get buried underneath all the fancy, you know. But you never know. That's what happens a lot, and I don't know why that is. Okay, here we go. Attachment. Someone's realizing they need to heal from attachment. Mm -hmm. Something they're attached to, they have to clear out. Yes, it is so. And hostilities. Anger internal frustrations. It could be that somebody is angry at you. But these are not good energies, and they are not good to contain in your body either. And I think they, they are starting to see that all these hostile people, all everybody wants is to be heard, right? And to be heard. Tell me about these attachments and hostilities, please. Okay, how can I, how can I tell you, um, 
Why do I hear this? How can I tell you that I love you? I love you, but I can't think of right words to say. Cat Stevens. Wherever I'm walking, I'm always walking with you. Always walking with you, but I look and you're not there. My birthday just showed up when I said that, 1027. Healer of the ages, the Lord is right here, and though I stand at the door and knock, he said, I can help you. All it is about is clearing your chakras and getting clear with me. Get rid of these hostilities. Maybe somebody's under spiritual attack. Tell me, spirit, attachments. Masculine, tell me about the hostilities. Having trouble with their third eye, having trouble coming clear. Metatron is here twice. Mm -hmm. They think they know it all. They think they've seen everything. And their third eye has been affected by some kind of an entity or a, a mental. It's mental. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. What is it? Please show me spirit. The thinking woman. Could this be someone who thinks that they're smarter than you? Hmm? Possibly. They think they're your twin flame or soulmate. Is it? No, this one is not. So there's a false twin in your environment and you have to heal that attachment. Yeah, you have to bring an end to something. This is the world card. Somebody has to bring an end to this scenario. That is a divine feminine. She has to end this. He thinks he's going to get victory. But... Uh, She's having trouble. They're having trouble with this walking away thing. You know, leaving. Leaving. Leaving something. Getting out. Somebody feels trapped. Uh, there is attachment, right? Remember hostilities and attachment? Someone feels trapped. Yes? Why do they feel trapped? March 10th. Happy family. Hmm. Explain that. The sun is in reverse. They're not happy at home. They're in an unhappy home environment, perhaps. Could be. Metatron says you can change things right where you are. Come right where you are. Come to me right like you are. Just like you are. Bad habits, anger, attachments, sexual addictions, realizations, healing perceptions, seeing things as locked down and never getting better, never getting better. That's lack of hope, and that could be demonic entities. Rebuke them. The Bible says, resist the devil and he shall flee. You deserve to be free. You don't even know what it feels like to be free. That's what I'm hearing. I'm a channeler, sorry. Yep, see, you need to understand that the Lord's going to come and help open your heart so that you can receive the love that you feel that you've been missing. Yes, that's true. Yep, Archangel Raphael is coming in. And, and there's this man holding a coin. Um, this is an offer. Ready to be had, 47. See, the door to spirit is here to make sure. So those of you who do pray, those of you who are, are looking, you're going to be having amazing building with somebody. Uh, your future looks really good. There's love. Maybe that's you. The door to personal healing and happiness in this particular scenario. But it takes you going towards it to make it happen. Yep. And you better go at it in a way that somebody knows your value. Mm-hmm. No way. I don't give away. Archangel Michael helped me learn to cut out sexual addictions already. I don't have those anymore. And I don't even deal with anxiety anymore. I'm like, it doesn't matter to me anymore. I've already changed and I've gotten courageous now. See? Yep, I'm on the temple path and you know I am. And I'll pull back any minute to learn what I need to do. To stay in my cornucopia and stay in my productivity. Yes? That's what I hear. Oh, my God. Let's have a romance card for this message. Wow. <laughs> I got it channeling, my friends. Oh, my goodness. Whatever. It either does or doesn't apply. But give me some love, babies. What do you got here? Openly express your emotions and love to someone. This could be the one. Wow. Heart-to-heart -heart conversations. <gasps> That's amazing. Oh, wow. But watch out for the codependency one, though. You know, don't let things get too attached. That's another problem is 
understanding how to have healthy relationships. If you really have met someone and they're mature enough to have a healthy relationship with you, check out my friend Barbara Cole Salmoran. She does Empowered Relationships. Dot, I think it's dot .org. Empowered Relationships. She's amazing. She tells you how to communicate with each other. Yep. She started with the Queen's Code. Can't, can't say as I blame her. She's absolutely amazing. And she's my gong master teacher. She's shamanic, Reiki master. Holy crap. I mean, all in all, an amazing human being. And I am blessed to have so many wonderful people in my life. That includes you guys. Please go to my store and buy my spray so you've got some extra protection, especially the clear black magic and spells. It is an, a Reiki-infused oil that is designed specifically to protect your auric field. Once you've done it before meditation and after. Yep. Yep. It's one. All of mine are, actually. Here we go. Here's how you're showing up. You're the world in reverse. You might not want to give up right away. You're like, meh, maybe. Maybe there's victory here after all. Yeah. But you're not sure if you can make it happen or if you should. The magician makes things happen. He knows how to manifest anything he wants because he knows how to use the elements. But right now... All you have, all you want to do is bring justice to your life. You want everything to be balanced psychologically, emotionally, physically, materially, and communicatively. Just get that shit out in the open because you know that we're not living in the time where you can play. You don't have a lot of time to play. You can have fun, but there's not a lot of time to play. Only if fools are, are missing the point. What is on your mind? Your emperor, the master, the one that you need. Yes, someone in authority, someone strong, strong who you know you can completely lean on. What's on your heart? You were, you're, what's on your heart is you're just really worried that you won't get what you deserve. The Six of Pentacles is in reverse. You feel like maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the codependency is you're feeling like you're not worthy. I dare say that's wrong. Clarify that. That's clarified by, see, feeling sad and sorrowful. Your heart still sad. Hmm. Yeah. You're not sure you want to work on it. Your heart's been broken too much. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. Why is it in reverse? Because that's all you wanted. You, you're, it was broken because your dream was broken midstream. And that's why your heart's broken over this. And you're like, no, I've been around this battle too many times. But... However, something beautiful is coming. What about your significant person? Someone wonderful is coming. This is something you can expect to happen today. I don't know who it is or what they are wanting, but something is indeed coming in. Three is Aries Leo Sagittarius. Someone wants to come and talk to you about something they believe. Yeah? What's on their mind? Their choices and their decisions. Clarify that. And how it put them in, in jail. How it put them in mental jail away from you. Oh, yeah. Clarify that. Yeah, and they got locked up. They couldn't get out of a situation. They're just, they haven't been able to make a decision. They just feel like they've been in lockdown. Hold on. Yeah, makes them very unhappy. Their mind is like, shit. I made a mistake. Tell me about the um, their heart. Their heart is showing up as um, ready to unblock. Starting to unblock. Really? Yes. But they're not telling you. They're not telling you at all. The high priestess, they don't. They're just devastated. Their heart's devastated. Really? Is it? Yes. They did not want to walk away. They felt like they were forced to walk away. So what are they going to do? They're going to come forward and have this conversation with you. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They're going to communicate very clearly. What are they going to tell you? Energy between you? They're going to tell you that they didn't have peace of mind, that they shouldn't have done what they did. They're going to apologize. Yep. And... Energy between you two. The hermit, you both have been pulled back. You could be twin flames, though. Soulmates, something. Yeah. I think the energy between you is loving and wise now. I think you know to 
if you're going to even have a victory with this person. Six of Wands and Six of Swords is victory. Communication, open a nice open heart, understanding now what, what happened. That's nice. If that happens, bravo. And a peace offering. Look, even if you don't do anything else together in the future, have this conversation, but be, be so in your high love that it actually results in an outcome that is one that you really want. Because I think the divine is definitely going to help you here. So you come in in your higher form, and if they don't, you stay in your higher form because it will alter them, even if it's after the fact. It's like raising a child. It's cause and effect. I know this is true because what you want to do is you want to have balance no matter what. Is it worth the sacrifice? Let me ask this, the guides. Yep. You might be marrying this person. Mm -hmm. Wedding. Connection. Yes, it is worth the sacrifice. What do the guides say about this? Keepers of the light for my collective in love. Wow, you guys. Have faith. Faith is the assured expectation of things not yet seen. It was 2121 when I said that. Human humanity and benevolence come at things from a very, very equal energy. Come at things with a merciful energy. Come at things understanding that people make mistakes. Come at things. That's how I want to do it. That's exactly how I want to do it. Because I know that I, I totally misunderstood a lot of things in my past. Stay calm. Trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. You are the light in the world, beloveds. Have a wonderful day. Please like, subscribe. If you do, hit the all bell. Share my videos. Give me, you know, give me some um, likes, guys, so I can keep my videos out there. And if you'd like a private reading, you can go to my website, um, robinsrealmreadings.net. And you can also find my sprays, order Reiki healing sessions, distance Reiki healing, and uh, disconnect, okay? Ask for prayer if you'd like. I also do prayers now. All right. Much love to you. Namaste.